Okay, guys, this is part three in the series um, Alphabet People Transgender Agenda. Um, subscribe to the channel, repress the bell, um, and share and like the video if you're into it. Terrific, terrific interview. To these kind of radical changes to our biology, you know, the way that we're planted in the, in the ecosphere, you know, once we let that go, that tether, anything is up for grabs. You know, they can manipulate your DNA. They can manipulate you any way you want. And that's why these rights are, I mean, from what I can tell, um, these, why these rights, these gender rights are being passed. It's not about uh, people that are allowing their, uh, a medical attack on their sex. It's for future augmented human beings. I follow the money and money trails do not lie. They tell you the truth. And I don't care how crazy I sound because it doesn't matter to me, you know? It just doesn't matter. Just get the information out there so people can go looking for themselves because again, it's not hidden and none of this is hidden. It's just that people are not looking for it, do you know what I mean? They're looking at the human rights angle. These poor individuals, right? Who feel trapped in the wrong body, you know? My heart breaks. You know, it's so ridiculous, all the governments, all of the politicians, all the major banks, all the financial investment houses, all the medical institutions, the universities, the schools, the corporations, the, the law firms, they've all jumped on board within 10 years for poor people that have identity issues, that have body dysphoria. I mean, come on, this is so patently ridiculous. And people just gobble it up. I mean, you have people that have body dysphoria related to their limbs you know, body integrity identity disorder, and they feel like their limbs don't belong to them. It's usually a, you know, a lower extremity, a leg or a, a foot. And they, you know, they just feel like they want, they feel like they're going to cut it off, you know, because it's so, it's so, it just feels so wrong to them. And psychiatrists uh, are, have notorious difficulty trying to treat these people. Um, but we haven't made any parades for them. We haven't started a human rights movement for them. We haven't put them on the cover of Time magazine. We haven't had a makeup line for them or a modeling agency. I could say the same thing for anorexic. That's a form of body dysmorphia. Why is this only happening around these people, you know, uh, who are claiming a synthetic sex identity, you know? And why has it happened across the board in so many different countries and laws are changing and language is changing to uproot society the way that we're organized as a society? Why would you do that to people? I mean, it's absolute insanity. It's madness. Nothing means anything anymore, right? There's no boundaries, boundarylessness. Um, I started following the money around this issue because if you want to know anything in America, you follow the money, right? <laughs> and so I started following the money and I looked at all these different um, NGOs, these non-governmental organizations that were really huge. They were huge, like Arcus Foundation and Gill Foundation. They're mammoth. They've each given like a half a billion dollars to, um, to spread this ideology through, um, through the cultures, you know, not just our culture, but, you know, Western cultures, because they, they, um, they fund other organizations that do the same thing. Um, and they create this whole scaffolding, this political scaffolding to drive it so that you have media people, you have people that are being trained in politics to get them into political institutions, like the Victory Institute, for instance. Um, that's funded very heavily by Arcus Foundation. And like, for instance, Rachel Levine was part of that organization. You know, they call people from different schools in different areas um, that are gonna work for them and then they train them to be in these positions to drive policy through the culture, right? Which Levine is doing, if you've seen um, him speak. And so then they have media people as well, like GLAD is the media arm. <clears throat> so GLAD and uh, Arcus Foundation are closely working together. And GLAD goes about spreading information about how people are supposed to talk about this because it's a human right and you don't want to offend anybody, right? So the message comes from on high. And what I mean by on high is not Arcus Foundation, I mean Stryker Medical. 17.1 billion dollar corporation and growing by the day in 75 different countries the medical industrial complex is bigger than the military industrial complex so i've picked out a few different characters um, that are very very prominent and are doing a lot of work to change society and to change people's minds 
um, to drive this techno religion um, through our society. Um, but there are many, many others. Whether or not they actually know what they're doing, um, it, it's not quite clear to me. But they, most of them come out of the techno medical uh, industry, the banking industry. We don't see big oil men you know, in the gender industry. Do you know what I mean? We don't see automakers in the gender industry. Do you know what I mean? This is all pharma, tech, and um, big finance, you know, BlackRock, Vanguard. The ideology is just so patently ridiculous, you know. I mean, there are men, grown men, with adult diaper fetishes. Are we going to have, like, next year, are we going to have, like, changing tables in the, in the corporate arena for them? You know, we have stores for them now where they can go to actually go and buy paraphernalia for their, for their fetish. But why are we, you know, why are we normalizing fetish? You know, fetish is, fetish is really, it's a compulsion and it's objectification. You know, it objectifies. If you're, you know, if your fetish is for another person, it's a, you know, it's an objectifying of them, objectification of them. Military gadgets are flying off shelves and here's why. These military special forces are becoming stronger fast by breathing in 200% more oxygen. And the only way they can do this is by using a revolutionary new invention. This new gadget is changing people's physique, performance, and stamina. It's able to increase your physical performance within moments of using it. People are utilizing it to boost their breathing, strength, and endurance. And it's taking over the market like crazy in Australia by blowing... So, and we're seeing this because we're dissociated as a society. You know, this has become our mode of expression now, dissociation and compulsion, addiction, you know, because we're trying to fill up the holes that the society has created. And instead of looking at the society and how damaged and broken it is, that it's not giving us what we need, all these aberrant behaviors are being supported in its stead, which is absolute madness. Glisten is the educational arm of the LGBT Inc. Um, and they basically take care of educating the populace in schools, in, in uh, community centers about, you know, they dispense gender ideology to them, sort of like the old Christians used to come into the, you know, American Indian communities and, and indoctrinate them into Christianity. Well, this is very similar. It's a technological religion, and they're indoctrinating people to this ideology, promoting it as a human right, but it's a technological religious cult. You don't get to bow out of this. I mean, I mean, that's becoming abundantly clear to a lot of people, but they don't understand why. Why can't we talk about this? If this is a human right organization, a movement for human rights, why wouldn't you want to share that information with people? Why wouldn't you want to get, want to get people on board with it? Everything is transphobic. You can't speak about it. No debate. No debate. You know, you can't talk about it. You, know, you can't even talk about womanhood because that's transphobic. Everything is transphobic. I mean, it's becoming like a joke on social media now. The construct of um, the transgender child had to be created. So, you know, these very, very large um, international law firms, lawyers, have created legal structure for transgender children, right? And how to communicate about this, like how to drive this ideology. They've created guides, basically, for people, right? So this gets you know, this is created through these ginormous NGOs, right, with these international law firms, and then they're sent down through the community, you know, through people like, you know, GLAD, organizations like GLAD, right, who, who take that information, now they indoctrinate the public. This is a human right, and some people are born in the wrong body, and it's just the way that it is, and da-da-da-da-da, you know, and then you have... Um, glad who you know takes care of the media this is the way that you have to sell this to people right so and then these universities are getting you know all of this money to promote this ideology um, and so they do you know so it's coming from every single avenue that you can think of in the culture well let's see governor pritzker just sent a bill through um the schools in illinois <clears throat> uh chicago specifically um that if you want health education in your school, you have to adopt gender ideology. You have to teach kids about gender ideology, which means they can, you know, uh, you can change your sex, you can get hormones and puberty blockers, uh, you can change your name, uh, very sexualized material as well, very intense sexual material they're teaching them, you know, anal sex and um, the gamut, you know, uh, bondage and, you know, 
anything really that you can think of, you know. Um, they're teaching them to young children. Um, and so if you don't want this in this school, in your school, then you have to pull out of health education altogether. You don't get any health education. If you want health education, then, then you have to do this. So this, I think, was a, um, was sort of a... Uh... Jennifer Berlick, she knows his stuff. It's a good subject, guys. We'll see you in episode four, the final episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, um, press the bell, and share the video. Bye for now, guys.